Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today's lesson is all about tagging ceilings. In particular, we want to have something that shows the ceiling's height. That's something you cannot easily do in Revit, but we'll see today a quick trick to make this happen. For example, here I have this sample project and I have put in ceilings for all the rooms here. If I select one like this and then get all similar, then go to 3D you will see these are the ceilings. Looks a bit weird there because I have face filter on. Let's turn this off. Here they are. Back to the ceiling plan now. If I select one of them like this one here, you will see this value is the same as the ceiling height parameter you can get from properties. That's three meters there. If I change it to two and a half meters, you can see that number instantly updates according to the new height. And that happens to all the ceilings on this level. I can even select this one here and change this height directly from the tag. Maybe this one can be 2500. And you can see that number is there and also here, perfectly in sync. Let's see now how we can create this intelligent ceiling tag. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now because we do tutorials like this every single week. Alright, let's begin. I will firstly go to File and make a new family from here. We want to have tags, so let's go for Annotations Family Templates. And because here I don't see any templates for ceiling tags, I should start then from the Generic Tag Template. In here now, there's a little note there we don't use anymore. Let's delete it. And now it's gone. We can now start placing in here the first label for our tag. Just go to create, choose label, and click somewhere near the middle of the family here to place it. Next step, if you scroll a bit down, you will see that the ceiling parameter for height from the level isn't there. That's because this tag is still a generic family. Let's cancel this for a moment. Go to create and choose family category. It is here where I can change the family now to be a ceiling tag. Simply go for this one there and do OK. Now when I place a new label again, you will see that parameter is now available for me to select height offset from level. The same thing we saw before under the ceilings properties in the project. It's now time for me to add this to the label parameters list. And maybe give it a sample value of 3 meters. Click OK now, and it's there. The text is however a bit big at 3 millimeters. Let's go to edit type now. And I usually go for 1.8. Let's do the same here now. Set the size to be the same, 1.8 mil, and do OK. It is then up to you if you want to add more annotation elements to decorate this tag. We usually just go for the simple rectangle around it like this. And because we want the rectangle to be centered around the text, let's do two dimensions here. Make this one equality. And a second one here as well, also an equality dimension. Now this tag is ready. The name is family2. You can choose to save it now with a new name, a better one. But for today's purposes, I will just load this back into my project. Test ceiling tags. Of course, we can't place it in 3D without locking the view. So let's not bother doing that there. Let's go back to our ceiling plan. I would then maybe just delete those. These are my tags from before. And then go for annotate, tag by category. We can now choose to tag this ceiling, for example, here. And when I click, that has placed the tag for me already. When I click here, for example, that's family two, the new one we just created. I can, of course, move this around to whatever position it should be. You can also tag those ceilings, all of them on this level quickly by using tag all, this button there. Let's choose family two again, our new tag family, and do OK. Now it's all there. The position can be a bit funny for some ceilings, for example this one here. It has an L shape, that's why its tag is there where the center of its geometry is going to be. I can now just select this and move the tag to where it should be. 
that's easier for me to read. So, there you have it. If you enjoy this lesson and want more like this coming every single week, make sure to subscribe now and turn on the notification bell to get our tutorials as soon as they become available. For now, practice creating these tags and I'll see you in the next lesson.